This is the powerful signal of One Vision Channel on Comcast Channel 190, a positive breath of faith. He's for independents. He's for Democrats. He's for Green Party Green Party members. Everybody loves this candidate. And I will tell you this: we talk about on election day. When election day comes, I got news for you: it's election day. It started on September 17th. If you have not voted, leave here today and go vote. You can vote. The election laws in Virginia have changed, and I beg you, go vote early and take 10 or 20 of your friends and encourage them. Those are votes in the bank for the candidate who really cares about you, who will change my life and your life and the trajectory of Virginia. For a generation, the whole country is watching this race. So I ask you one more time, are you ready to win? Yeah! Are you ready to hear from the next governor? Yeah! Virginia, who is gonna change Virginia? I give you the next governor. All right, that was Jill Vogel, your state senator, and I'm telling you, nobody is out working her right now. Maybe me, but nobody else. Should. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to thank everybody for coming out here today. What this means is that you decided you love the Commonwealth of Virginia and you were going to invest your time, your time to come make a, make a statement. And I want to thank you for that. You know, that's why everybody here is here, because we love this Commonwealth of Virginia. And I'll tell you, it is no longer, as Jill said, Republicans against Democrats. This is Virginians standing up and saying no to this left, liberal, progressive agenda. <laughs> Friends, this is about so much more than a campaign. This is a movement. And this movement is being led by parents all over the Commonwealth of Virginia. Parents who are saying, no, I am the one who gets to decide what's best for my children. I am the one who has a fundamental right to be fully engaged in our children's education. That's parents' rights. Let's just be clear. My opponent has made it absolutely crystal clear what he believes in his heart. He stood up and he said, parents do not have a right to be telling schools what will be taught in school. He thinks that government should stand between parents and their children. He doubled down on it and tripled down on it. But we all knew this. He just absolutely confirmed what we all believed. And oh, by the way, the minute that parents again stood up and said, no, Terry, we're rejecting you, he called his friend Joe Biden and he said, Joe, send the FBI in and have them try to silence these parents. And that's exactly what they did. Friends, it is about, it is about all right. I agree. Parents are not friends, Terry McAuliffe terrorists. believes in big government. He believes in government control. He believes that government should be between you and your children. He believes that government should force you to join a union. He believes that government should raise taxes yet again. He believes in organizations that want to defund police and close prisons. Friends, that is Terry McAuliffe. And right now, Virginians are wholesale rejecting it, and you can watch it happen. Watch it happen. What's happening across this Commonwealth of Virginia is amazing. Everywhere we go, the crowds are huge. Winsome Sears, Jason Miaras, and I have been fanned out across this great Commonwealth. And let me tell you, everywhere we go, we are meeting Virginians, listening to Virginians who are ready to stand with us, lock arms, and say, no, we will not be California East, we will be Virginia. That's what we're You know 
this, but this is not just about the Commonwealth of Virginia. Right. I'm getting texts and emails and phone calls from parents all over America. Wow. And they need us to stand up for them, too. There's only two races this year statewide, New Jersey and Virginia. All eyes are on Virginia. Why? Because America needs us to make this statement. Parents around the country need us to say that, yes, we are standing up for our children because the same thing's happening in their school districts with their school boards, and they need us to give them hope, to give them a pathway. Because what's going to happen right now is we are going to sweep the statewide elections come November. We're going to sweep. Yeah. Yeah. Freedom for Virginia. And we, in fact, we, in fact, are going to take back our House of Delegates, and we're going to be in a majority, gentlemen, a majority. Yeah. all over the Commonwealth of Virginia, supervisory board races, city council races, school board races. Do you think school boards matter? School boards yeah. matter. Yes, they do. Sheriff races. Friends, this is not a campaign. It is a movement, and we are sweeping across the Commonwealth of Virginia. But what that's going to say to the nation is get ready. Because when we win on November 2nd, we are going to set the tone to come back and take back our House of Representatives next year in November 2022 and send Nancy back to California. Pelosi for prison! we stand as Virginians. I mean, Virginians have been coming together, leading this nation from the beginning. From the beginning. And it's our time again. On this ballot, is such a clear difference. On this ballot is a statement about what we believe in. Do we believe in big government or do we believe in freedom? Freedom! Do we believe in teachers' unions or do we believe in our children? Our children! Do we believe in criminals or do we believe in law enforcement? Law enforcement! Ladies and gentlemen, this is our moment. On the ballot, it is so clear that we are about to make a big decision. On day one, I get asked all the time, Glenn, what are you going to do on day one? Well, let me tell you what's going to happen on day one. Day one is going to start. We're Winsome Sears. Jason Miares and I have the amazing privilege to stand under Mr. Jefferson's portico in Richmond. We are going to place our hands on the Holy Bible, and we're going to swear to Almighty God that we're going to stand up and protect the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Yeah. Right. Then we're going to walk down those stairs, and Paige is going to join Jason, and Terrence is going to join Winsome, and Suzanne is going to join me, and we're going to stop for a moment, for a moment of prayer, and I'm going to invite everybody who wants to join us to join us. And we're going to thank the Lord for his guidance. We're going to thank him for his protection. We're going to thank him for the resources he's put around us. And we're going to ask for his strength to go forward. And then we're going to say amen. And then we're going to work on day one because we got a lot of work to do on day one, folks. Yeah. execute the day one game plan. On day one, we are going to cut the cost of living in Virginia by cutting taxes for all Virginians. Yeah. Yeah. Over, the last, over the last couple years, the liberal leadership in Richmond has overtaxed us just this past year $2.6 billion. That's your money, not Richmond's money. We're going to fund a billion of it into our rainy day fund because that's good fiscal policy. We're in fact going to turn around and fund some required projects. But then we're going to turn around and declare the largest tax refund rebate in the history of Virginia. They're overtaxing us again another $2.6 billion this year. And we're going to lower taxes permanently. We're going to eliminate the grocery tax. We're going to eliminate it. We're going to suspend the gas tax for one year because right now gas is too expensive. And everybody, people ask me all the time, Glenn. How you feel? And I say, my fuel tank is full, but it's about to cost me four bucks a gallon to fill it up. This is not right. We're going to double everybody's standard deduction, and we're going to go to work for our veterans. 
Folks, we're going to... So we're going to build up over three years to $40,000 of our veterans' retirement we are going to exclude from taxes. I want our veterans to stay here. All in. It's going to be over $1,400, almost $1,500 in year one for a family of four. My opponent, he believes it's his money. He's already spent it. His policies are going to cost Virginians $16 billion. He's going to raise your taxes $5,400. Friends, it is your money, not Terry McCullough's, and I'm going to give it back to you. That's what we're going to do. On day one, we're going to reestablish excellence in education in Virginia, so we will be proud of our schools once again. That's what we're going to do. Let me be clear. We are going to make it absolutely crystal clear that our schools will never be closed again. Open five days a week to in-classroom, in-person education. When Terry McAuliffe was governor, he was mad because 88 schools in Virginia failed to pass their accreditation. Rather than fix the schools, all he did was lower the standards so that all 88 would pass. Today, today Virginia's children are held to the lowest standard in America. We're ranked 50th in standards for math and for reading. Our children are failing. Over 60% of our, our kids in 8th grade cannot pass an 8th grade math equivalency test. It's absolutely unacceptable. So on day one, we're going to reestablish high expectations. We're going to offer accelerated math. We're going to do yes. advanced degrees. We will fund in a record, a record budget into education, raising teacher salaries, funding into facilities, and funding special education because the kids Thank with disabilities you. need it and deserve it. the most aggressive charter school choice program in the history of Virginia. <laughs> Parents are going to be able to decide if they want their child to go to a charter school. 20 of them on day one. Virginia has eight charter schools in the entire Commonwealth. Maryland has 140. North Carolina has 190. We have eight. We'll launch 20 on day one, and we are going to move so fast to close that gap, it's going to make your head spin. We're going to give parents choice in schools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But friends, it all starts with curriculum. It all starts with curriculum. And the curriculum's gone haywire, and we know it. We know it. I went looking to find out when critical race theory started coming into our school system. What I found, first instance in 2015 that we could found, there may be others. But under Terry McAuliffe, the Board of Education started holding training sessions and the slide deck started to say teaching critical race theory in the classroom. Go to the, go to the Board of Education website, you'll find a book, Teaching Critical Race Theory. Friends, it's in the classrooms, we know it. So on day one, let me be clear, we in fact are going to teach all history, the good and the bad, all of it, all of it. We're going to embrace Dr. Martin Luther King's famous, famous comments that we're not going to judge one another by the color of our skin, but rather the content of our character. So we will, in fact, ban critical race theory on day one and get our schools moving in the right direction. Today is the beginning of police week. I want everybody to know that when I'm governor, we're going to have police four years. That's what we're going to have. Not a week, but four years. Yeah. It's going to start on day one. We're at a 20-year high in murder rate, as the sheriff said. Four of our great cities rank in the 65 deadliest cities in America. Richmond, Norfolk, uh, Newport News, Hampton. Friends, my opponent doesn't care because when he was governor, the murder rate went up 43% and he thought he was doing a good job. He, re he refused to meet with the Police Benevolent Association. He didn't even go to the meeting. He stood them up. That's why 50 sheriffs have endorsed me. That's why four sheriffs have changed parties and joined the Republican Party. Yeah. Yeah. So on day one, we're going to comprehend
massively fund law enforcement. We're going to raise salaries, fund equipment, fund trading. We're going, to, we're going to protect qualified immunity. It will go nowhere when I'm governor. We are going to stand up for law enforcement because they stand up for us. Yes. We also are going to fund into our mental health system, which is in a state of crisis. And finally, friends, we are going to get, we're going to absolutely recognize that our parole board is out of control and on day one, I will fire the entire parole board and we will start again. Yeah. 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 Finally, on day one, we're going to go to work to make government work for us and stop telling us what to do. Yeah. 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 It's government for the people, of the people, by the people. So on day one, we're standing up for our constitutional rights, our First Amendment right, our Second Amendment right, our Tenth Amendment right. Yeah, yeah. Friends, that, that document, that document was absolutely protected, protected by our founders. Patrick Henry stood up and he said, we will not ratify our Constitution without a Bill of Rights. And guess what? They used Virginia's as the basis. George Mason wrote it. That is the foundation of our Bill of Rights today. Friends, I am going to stand up for our constitutional rights. Let me tell you, I have a pet peeve. I cannot stand waste. I cannot stand inefficiency. We're going to launch a statewide audit of the entire government. And the first two departments we're starting with are the Virginia Employment Commission and the DMV. Yeah. So here we are today on this beautiful, beautiful Thursday. And you all have dedicated your time to be here because you love the Commonwealth of Virginia. Well, it's time for Virginians to go to work. Just like Patrick Henry stood up for us so many, many years ago, and Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence, and George Washington led us to independence. James Madison wrote our Constitution. Virginians have been at the heart of our nation from the founding, and guess what? Virginians are going to be at the heart of our nation in its future because we're going to do something so special right now. We, in fact, are going to make the statement that this left liberal progressive agenda is fully rejected in the Commonwealth of Virginia and fully rejected across our country. We're going to make that statement. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. No more nonsense. It's time for us to lead, folks. It's time for us to lead. This is not about me. Sit on your couches. It's not about Winsome Sears. It's not about Jason Miares. It's absolutely not about these great delegates, these public servants. It's about all of you. We need you to help us. We need you. So I have five things I need from you. Five. First, you must go vote. Go vote. But it's not just you. I need you to get ten friends to come with you. Not ten people that are here with you now. Ten other people. Write their name down. Make them promise you they'll come vote. And then call them in a couple days. And if they haven't voted, go pick them up in your car and bring them to the polls. We must get the vote out. We get the vote out. We win this thing. Second thing we need from you is get a sign and put it in your yard. Make a statement for your neighborhood and your neighbors. We're voting for Yunkin Sears. We are as. We need you. Third thing we need from you is be our ambassadors. You all have networks. Get them out. Inform them. You know what we're going to do on day one. Cut taxes, the best schools, the best jobs, the safest communities. Government that works for us. Spread the word. Get people out. Finally, I need you to volunteer. We've got polls to cover. We need, we need poll watchers. We need people who will hand out sample ballots. We need door knockers. We need folks who make phone calls. We need you. It's more than just voting. It's time to get in the arena with us and help us do what we all must do, which is take back the Commonwealth of Virginia. That's why we need you. That's why we need you. Friends, finally, 
I don't know where anybody is in their own faith walk. It's personal. But if you have a prayer list, add us to it. Jason and his wife Paige and their girls. Winsome and her husband Terrence. We don't call him Terry anymore. Terrence. I don't want anybody to be confused. Terrence. Their girls, their grandchildren. Suzanne, me, our, our four children. Grant, Anna, John, Thomas. It's time. Place these fine gentlemen on it. Please. This is our moment to come together. This is our moment to do something amazing across the Commonwealth of Virginia, but also our nation and friends. I can't tell you how humbled I will be, how honored I will be for you all to hire me to go work for you to be the 74th governor of Virginia. God bless you all. God bless the Commonwealth. Professor Ruiz, we so glad to be here today, so glad that you are here today. Uh, we each had a wonderful event today. We had three or four hundred people that came out on a Thursday afternoon at lunch hour. Uh, that tells me if we'd been able to have this in the evening, we'd have had a thousand people here uh, to support Glenn Youngkin. But what it really tells me is that Virginians are ready to give uh, control of their government and control of their schools back to parents and back to Virginians. Uh, Glenn's speech today was absolutely dynamic. I tell you, it's going to be determined on Election Day and the, and the voting that goes on ahead. But there, there is a feeling uh, of, among the people. Just You can just feel it going around. The people are fed up with the uh, policies and the authoritarian control propagated by the, kind of really the Democratic regime in Richmond. So we are so excited right now. And I, for any of you that might be listening here, look, uh, a number of you may not uh, want to label yourself as a Republican. You know we don't register by party here in Virginia, but I, I'm asking everybody, just as Glenn said, he's going to be the governor for all Virginians. But if you will stop and think about your values, what is important to, to you, your faith, economic opportunity, education for your children, if you stop and really take a look at your values, and then you look at Mr. Youngkin and his, his platform, and you look at Mr. McCullough and his, I, I predict there will be no question that if you vote your values, uh, you're going to vote for Glenn Young as the next governor for Virginia. Hi, my name is Lynn Bell. I'm the principal consultant with Next Level Development here in Fauquier County. And I'm really pleased to be out here today and just welcome to Glenn Youngkin. We're so glad to see this wonderful crowd. And now I'd like to especially thank our local Republican Committee for setting on this event. We've had an absolutely beautiful day and a great number of attendees. Thank you again and best wishes to Glenn Youngkin on his campaign. Delegate Michael Robert, I represent the 18th District, two-thirds of Faulkner County, a third of Warren, a third of Culpeper, and all of Rappahannock. We were out here today for Glenn, Glenn Youngkin Rally. Um, I had the honor and privilege of uh, give, saying a few words and introducing our great state senator, Jill Vogel. We had a wonderful turnout today. There were about 400 people in, in the audience. And, you know, the topics that were discussed were, were wide and, and, and good, but mostly just, uh, you know, small government and getting getting parents more influential in our education, and uh, some other great topics that we've discussed today. Hi folks, uh, look, we're out here at Eva Walker Park in Warrington, Virginia, and uh, you know, there's uh, there's an election going on right now, it started September 17th, and it's really important that you get out and vote. You'd have to, for us to make a difference in our communities, we need to get out and vote, and specifically right now, they're, they're, they have an event, and it's for uh, Glenn Youngkin, who's over here in the crowd, uh, who's running for governor, and I got up in support of uh, Glenn Youngkin and his support for good law enforcement, and folks, I, I gotta tell you, uh, with some of the things that are, that are happening in our communities, especially the rise in violent crime, uh, it's important that you get out and vote and vote for Mr. Young. Uh, the second thing had to do with uh, uh, police accreditation. And so Delegate Weber, who's out of the 18th District, uh, and, you know, he has been one that's put forth legislation. That, by the way, if you happen to be uh, in other districts that have, are under other control other than uh, 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 Delegate Weber, 
uh, there have been people that actively voted against uh, this uh, legislation and can make the difference for the professionalization of law enforcement. So uh, we're, we're, we are big into community policing and working with our, with our communities. And so please get out and vote. And uh, if you don't vote now, vote uh, definitely on November 2nd. Uh, and remember, uh, Glenn Yonkin, thank you so much. Hi, I'm Glenn Youngkin, Republican candidate for governor. Thank you for tuning in to Channel 190 Xfinity.